This is it, folks, the last comparison for the title of Mr. Olympia. Let's send it down to the table. Big Steve. Thank you, Bob. Phil and Brandon, switch, please. Roly and William, switch, please. Gentlemen, spread out and hit a front double bicep. All right, the last time these guys will be prepared, history will be made one way or the front other. You cannot spread. stop progress. Bill will either win or he will not. And either way, it will be a historic moment by the time Steve Weinberger is done with his final comparison. Side chest. One side note, that is Brandon, soul brother number one, Curry, that is in that top five call out. It's a very unfamiliar place, but well deserved. By Back taking out by several side. big names, including Cedric McMillan and Dexter Jackson and Big Rami, we now see Brandon Curry making his first ever appearance in the top five of a Mr. Olympia Spread line. out, guys. Everyone take a step. Bill directing traffic up there, making sure Back double there's bicep. plenty of room. That's a veteran, especially when you got $400,000 on the line and an eight Sandow trophy you're fighting for. You want to have plenty of space, Dan, on that stage. And right now, they all Back are serious. Friend. Sean, I'm going to just ask you this one question. Has anything changed in the way you see this competition from last night go, to right now? Um, man, this is coming down to the wire. Because again, we counted the poses. And if we're going numerically on the poses, Sean Roden slightly edges out. But again, Bill's signature poses are carrying him in this dogfight right here. But it's hard for me to stop looking at what Roden is presenting on that stage here tonight. I've only witnessed Dan personally one upset on this uh, Olympia platform, and that was back in 2008. Abdominals and thighs. Took out the reigning defending champion in the form of Jay Cutler. Now that case was 10 years ago. And uh, if it happens again here tonight, the question will remain, if Phil gets beat, does he come back next year to try to make history? That's going to be well, the bigger question. We know what happens. We saw Jay Cutler defeat Ronnie Coleman. We've Your favorite most muscular. Dexter Jackson defeat Jay Cutler. We, we saw Lee Haney beat Samir Badu in 1984. And we saw Phil Heath defeat Jay Cutler. We've seen this story play out. So it history suggests that it can happen. That's an impressive pose by the champion Phil Heath. Right Thank now, I'd gentlemen. like to see Sean Rhodes fighting a little bit harder at this point. But I, uh, I think Sean's done enough, bro. I mean, I'm looking at this in real time. Yep. And I got Sean Rhodes right now with a very narrow, very tight upset in this contest. Well, here it is. If the, apparently, if the fans in the audience have something to say about it, Ruli Winkler is their Olympia champion. But uh, Phil Heath from Arvada, Colorado is here. He's trying to win the title for the eighth time. And as you mentioned, a tremendous showing for Brandon Curry, who continues to quietly and slowly move into the top group. Um, Sean Roden and Bill's Phil's dragging Sean to hit his favorite pose, and Sean is playing into that. Sean should turn around right now and hit an abdominal and thigh shot while Bill hits his favorite pose, which is his back shot. Sean, is anything happening right now that will influence the outcome of this competition? Those judges right now are just double checking to make sure that they've done their due diligence, which I can appreciate. And these guys are entertaining us while the judges are doing what they've done. This thing is being judged right now. And I gotta tell you, if you're gonna give Sean Roden the title of Mr. Olympia, you better make sure that you dot the I across the T's. But I can tell you, he would be worthy of that recognition should they decide to and go they that are route. chasing the champ. Phil Heath moves to the left side of the stage, as does the rest of the pack. William Bonac, again, another tremendous Olympia appearance. It won't be good enough to win, but it was good enough to remain 
among the very best on the planet. Bill is very smart in showing his back during all of these poses. That's his number one pose. It's how this show's won and lost. He won this contest last year on those back shots. Come to the wire. In a few moments, we will see history. Either an eighth Sandow for Phil Heath or the crowning of the 14th winner of this contest. So the, uh, the feeling in the arena is palpable. There's a lot of intensity, and people know that this thing is very much up for grabs. I can tell you on the look on Phil's face, he's struggling, Dan. And he does not look as supremely confident as he did uh, in prior victories. Sean, I can't remember the last time at this very moment that we were as unclear as we are right now. We're both witnessing history, like you said, one way or the other. representing DPI Sports, the COO, Mr. Chris McKenzie. Please take the fifth place award, the fifth place check for $45,000 and present it to Brandon Curry. All right, another strong Olympia for Brandon Absolutely. Curry. And he moves into the top five, which means he is now qualified for the 2019 Mr. Olympia. Uh, he'll pick up a nice check and also he will command the status and the respect that comes with being in this very exclusive club. He's probably had the hardest run of them all with four kids running around, long uh, times away from the family over there at Oxygen Gym. This is the best he's ever done in this show, and I'm sure we'll see more in the future. Presenting the fourth place award, representing MHP, the CEO, Gerard Dente. This will be interesting, Dan. Roley and William did not stand next to each other and get compared. Looking in the eyes of the Please champion, the gotta wonder what he's thinking right now. Place First, let's hear who finishes fourth place. And present it to William the Conqueror, Bonin. As predicted yesterday, Dan, I thought he came in a little heavy. He dropped one notch, which is not a slap in anybody's face, but he's a little too heavy on this stage. If he dries up a little bit more, drops a little bit of weight, and that's hard to say, I think he'll streamline this physique and be right back in the hunt again. But right now, he's remaining in the top four, and he came off an Arnold Classic Championship. That's not an easy thing to do, and a year ago, he didn't have to deal with that. And then there were three, the top three bodybuilders on the planet, Phil Heath, Willie Winkler, and Sean Roden await the announcement of third place. Roley is in a very unfamiliar Presenting the position at this moment. It's Kevin Kay. Please take the third place award, the Olympia bronze medal, the check for $100,000. To your third place finisher, Rooley Winkler. All right, Sean Ray, your people's champion, is the number three bodybuilder in the world. A terrific Olympia showing for Rooley as he continues to fine tune that massive physique, those freaky proportions, and he has turned it in to what is now one of the top physiques on the planet. Rooley Winkler is your third place finisher. With $100,000 to show for it, man, that was earned the hard way. Rolly Winkler, very deserving, very popular, and his status and his stock in this industry has just gone up twofold. And then, Dan, there were two. Please have Sean Roden and Phil Heath on the center line, please. We've seen this play out before as Phil Heath held off a fast charging Sean Roden several years back. And now we are going to see the rubber match. And what's at stake? The runner up will win $150,000. The winner will win $400,000. In an Olympia tradition, Bob Chicarilla will probably Ladies announce the winner. That's 
will be your 2018 Mr. Olympia. Mr. Jim Mannion. I will now announce the winner of the 2018 Olympia. Please take the Sandow Trophy, the Olympia Gold Medal, the check for $400,000. And the title of 2018, Mr. Olympia. To our winner. And new Olympia champion. Ooh, there it is. It has happened in Las Vegas for just the 14th time. We have a new Mr. Olympia. The defending champion has been knocked out. Sean Roden is your 2018 Olympia champion. Phil Heath's run, at least for now, will end at seven in one of the more improbable developments. Phil Heath stands at center stage congratulating the winner, Sean Roden. And I gotta tell you, Sean Ray, coming into this weekend, there weren't many people that would have ever dared to predict this outcome. Absolutely, and I wasn't one of those guys that thought that for two seconds. However, I talked to a fellow professional bodybuilding friend of mine from Italy, Gianrico Pica, who saw Sean Roden on Wednesday night the day I arrived. He has a show coming up, the Amateur Olympia in Italy next weekend. He said he saw Sean Roden, and Sean Roden was gonna win this show. And I looked him in the eye, and I could not believe what he was saying. Sean Roden has accomplished what no other man has in over 10 years. Our coverage is going to continue after the break. Stick around, guys. back in historic night here in Las Vegas. Sean Roden has just been crowned Mr. Olympia in one of the more improbable developments in the history of this contest. Very few people saw this coming. There was an expectation that some guys would push Phil to the limit. Sean Roden was not on many of those lists, especially after what played out last year where he finished fifth. And uh, here he is the final man standing and Phil Heath's run ends at seven or he will, he will remain tied with the great Arnold Schwarzenegger. Bob Chick just asked, did the judges get it right? And to a resounding applause, they said yes. I believe Sean's waiting for his kid to come on stage uh -oh, to share the moment. Sean Roden a year ago had a kid and uh, a couple years ago, I should say which takes your eye off the prize, and there she is. That dress has got all kinds of stuff on it now, but it's got that gold medal, and she'll remember this moment years to come. And a reminder, do not put your kids in white when you have pro on. I know, sweetie, I feel the same way.
Sean Roden. You're the new Mr. Olympia. Wow, what a great fight, Sean. Everybody can see yesterday that you brought it. You brought your A game and you came here to, what's the matter, sweetie? You wanna say something? Daddy. Said hi, Daddy. Hi, Nyan. Guess what? Daddy's Mr. Olympia. Hi, Nyan. Here's something you can play with. Look at. Wow! Look at that. Isn't that cool? All right, let's talk with the champ, Sean. Congratulations, my friend. You have done the unthinkable. You have beaten the great and seven-time Olympia champion, Phil Heath. You believed in yourself. You told everybody you were not messing around. You came here to win, and you are the new Mr. Olympia. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for coming out and trying to support you, all these amazing athletes, uh, Jim Mannion, AMI. Steve Weidmerger, all these wonderful judges. Thank you guys so much to my family for making it out here. Man, it's, it's, it's been a long journey. It's been a long journey, and I'm thankful for today and yesterday that I was able to fight my way in something that I believe that I was going to be number 14. And you are number 14. Only 14 men in history since 1965 have held this title. Some of those great names that you know, of course. And you just beat a hell of a champion in Phil Heath, the seven-time champion. Nobody thought he could be beaten, but you did it. Yeah, I've been watching Phil since 2012, taking a lot of notes. And I know people might laugh at me when I say that, hey, one day I was going to be Mr. Olympia, but here I am, folks. <laughs> Love it. This was probably my hardest prep ever, but I wanted it so bad. I'm thankful that I'm here. Well, Sean, look at that standout trophy down there. That's going to look really nice up on that mantle, isn't it? <sighs> I haven't even think that far, you know. <laughs> This past couple of days has just been a roller coaster. You know, I have a great supporting cast, Chris Cito, Psycho Fitness. My training partner, make it to the Olympia for the first time, stamina. Up. And I'm gonna tell you, man, they beat the crap out of me this past couple of months just to get here. And to all you fans out here for your support. You know, every time I look and I hear someone said, Sean is too small, Sean is spending too much time with his family, Sean looks like he's retired, but it's okay. We had a game plan and we stuck to it, and we found a way to come here. I did everything that I possibly could have can to look good this weekend. Well, Sean, you certainly did more than look good. You look great, and the judge is certainly rewarding that with an Olympia victory. T take me through yesterday. After pre-judging, what were your feelings after you stepped off this stage? To be honest, man, I walked out of here yesterday, and I looked at Chris, and I said, it's only Friday. You know, I know a lot of people had me, you know, winning or a close second, but I just looked at Chris and said, it's only Friday, Chris. We still have Saturday, let's just focus on today. And that's what we did, one day at a time. What did you think when you came here tonight for the final, Sean? Did you think you had it? Did you think Phil was gonna eat you? We all know Phil comes back better on Saturday, so you knew you had a battle uh, coming up tonight, but what were your feelings? Did you think you had it? Listen, guys, Phil is no slouch. I've been chasing him since 2012, so I know in the back of my mind, I'm like, hey, you know what, he's missed a Saturday night. He could come in here and he could look his all-time best. But again, I looked at Chris Cedar and Chris said, hey, you know what, Sean? You'll be better than you were yesterday. And if that man believed in me, I'm good.
All right, Sean Roden. Right here in the center, I want you to hit your first pose as your new 2018 Mr. Olympia. I'll have you know that was not easy to get back, Sean. Well, there he is, ladies and gentlemen, 14. I don't even want to use the word lucky. This was earned, Dan, the hard way. And please help me in celebrating your new 